last class, 8.30 to 9.30, that is the advanced class. I train every day in that class. That's a class that not necessarily, you don't have to be advanced to go to that class, but things are going to be explained in, in a, a little bit faster of a scenario. We're going to look at things for competition. We're going to get a lot of sparring in that class, uh, and it's more of a, a master apprentice type teaching experience where the students have a lot more input on what we're going to do if they need to work on something, if they have questions. I really want people to ask questions and stuff. All right, guys, you're in against the wall. If you're out, get out. Let's go! I'm a happier person, it levels me out, gives me kind of a zen type of attitude. It's difficult for uh, you to get your blood pressure elevated or, or anxiety over things in life when no one's really choking you. You know, it kind of puts things in perspective. Um, so it's changed my life that way. It's changed my life as far as, uh, you know, physical. You know, I, I was a very fat kid. <laughs> And uh, I'm not saying that I'm skinny, but I'm, I would definitely say that I have an athletic build now. Um, I'm in the best shape of my life. And I, you know, that's having been in the military as well. My name is Martin Flores, I'm 33 years old. I'm a white belt. I started training at 350 plus pounds. Um, I'm down to about 290 at this point. Um, so 60 pounds later, um, I, I want to continue doing that. Uh, so uh, it, it's, it's really helped me in a, in a physical aspect, uh, health-wise. Um, and again, it's just improved my outlook and, and, and again, the humility and, and the, um, just the camaraderie. Uh, that you gain here. Hey, my name's Nelson Mercado. Uh, I'm a brown belt and my age is 40 years of age. Well, it keeps, it has kept me from when I started doing BJJ, I was kind of hanging with the wrong people, not doing anything productive with myself in life. And when I started doing BJJ, it gave me a reason to stay away from that and maintain focus on, on jiu-jitsu. Uh, it's hard to, to continue jiu-jitsu without remaining focused. So I had to lose interest in that and put all my focus and my attention to jiu-jitsu. That's how mainly it helped me. And then from there, the fact that I've been able to stay in good shape even at the age of 40, Yes, uh, it's not like when you were much younger, but the fact is that at the age of 40, I'm still doing jiu-jitsu, I'm still active, bumped and bruised, but it's kept me in good shape to this point. My name is Patrick Hassing. I am 24 years old and I am a purple belt. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much taken my life and flipped it upside down. So before Jiu Jitsu, I'll say I was really concerned with growing up. I had a lot of fear about working at a desk my whole life. And um, I always knew I would never enjoy that and I had never wanted that to be my life but it seemed like every way, everywhere I was going, the direction that I was going with school and engineering, like that was what I was leading towards. And um, that fear never really went away. And uh, when I was doing jujitsu casually, I didn't really think about it terribly hard, but now it's, it's kind of different and, and I'd like to make jujitsu my career. And so, 
you know, hopefully as the future comes along, it, my whole life is going to change from jujitsu, and that is going to be the, the center point of what I do. Fred Jennings, I'm a purple belt, I'm uh, 38 years old. Well, I've been doing this a long time, I can't really think of a time when I didn't have BJJ in my life, but you know, outside of uh, friendships, you know, I've made a lot of great friendships, pretty much everybody I know in my adult life at this point, I've, I know through the sport one way or another. Uh, you know, health, as, as I get close to 40 years old, a, a lot of guys that I look around at that are my age aren't anywhere near the kind of physical shape I'm in and you know obviously that's because of all the time I put in on these mats here um, and then you know it's kind of the things that I was just talked about the, the, the uh, sense of responsibility the, the courage loyalty all, all these things that get built up you know kind of beat into you uh, in this room on this floor and all that stuff you know translates into everything else in your life too My name is Patrick Salibi. I'm 40 years old and I am a purple belt. BJJ's changed my life in a number of ways. Um, I think first and foremost, when you feel like you can defend yourself, um, you definitely have more self-confidence. Um, when you progress, um, it also gives you that self-confidence and you see that you know when your teachers acknowledge you whether it's through you know the stripes or the belts you feel like you're making progress uh, kind of appeals to the Boy Scout in me. BJJ's also changed my life in the sense that it's made me kind of be more resilient I think. Um, I say that you know on the mat when you get put in bad situations you learn not to panic and how to work your way out of things and whether that's lasting out someone trying to choke you or learning uh, the right maneuver at the right time um, it definitely makes you think and, and you can apply that in other aspects of your life you know if you get frustrated or you feel like you're boxed stand in a situation say with work it kind of teaches you to be a little more patient um, it's definitely changed my life I, I feel like when I'm practicing BJJ at a, at, at a good clip that I'm definitely in very good shape and, and much healthier than the average person. Um, I also think it's I also think it's changed my life in the sense that it does give you goals to work for and it, it keeps you honest. If you if you want to ultimately be a black belt, you know that it's gonna take years and that it's not gonna happen overnight and that it makes you kind of have a long view of things, which I think also you can, you know, put and apply to a lot of things in your life when you become impatient. Rob Adams, 43, white belt. Basically, I got in shape. I've learned that there's not a whole lot in life that could stress you out if you can handle a grown man sitting on your chest trying to choke the out of you. There's a lot of difficult things. There's a lot of difficult things. Um, you know, sometimes you come in here and you know you might be a stud some days and you make that the norm and you think that that's how you're supposed to be and you come in another day and you just get destroyed. And it's tough to deal with that ego. But uh, I would say the toughest thing is dealing with injuries. I've gone through some injuries that have, a couple injuries have put me out you know, a month at a time. I've had one that, that took eight months before I could roll again. and. Um, those are tough. Those are tough, especially when you want to make it your lifestyle, when you want that to be your career. Having to stop doing it for a month, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. That has been the most difficult thing. You know, prob probably uh, injuries would be the biggest thing for me personally. Um, you know, dealing, dealing with injuries and, and time off the mat and then having to come back deal with the you know recovery process getting, getting your cardio back that kind of thing uh, that's been the biggest problem for me personally
think there's two things. I know you said asked what's the hardest part. I'm going to give you what I think my two would be. I think one is obviously dealing with injuries. If you if you do martial arts, you're going to have injuries, and learning how to manage them or fight through them is is critical. And again, it's also one of those life lessons that it teaches you how to get over those humps. Um, and I know a common theme for a lot of what I say about jujitsu is it teaches you patience. I think there's days with jujitsu where you you have great days on the mat and you have horrible days on the mat, and it's really frustrating sometimes to kind of figure out why that's happening. But it's because you're always evolving. I think as a practitioner, um, it, it makes you learn that you're gonna, as you try new things, you're gonna have setbacks. Um, I think one of the big mistakes you can make when you do this is when you get in patterns and start to do the same things over and over again, even if you are really successful at them, I don't know that you're necessarily improving, especially if you want to be a, a really good competitor. The, I guess having to have patience and knowing that eventually you'll feel like you're getting good at it. I mean, if you come in and you want to learn something that'll take you two weeks to learn and you can do it, you know, at a, at a high competition level, then BJJ is not it. But if you're willing to spend the time and put in a couple of years and just be patient, show up and train and Jeremy will do the rest. If you train enough, you're going to get injured. And that's not uh, saying that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a dangerous sport. It's just a sport. Um, you know, uh, if you do soccer, you get knee injuries. You do basketball, you get knee injuries. You do football, you get concussions. You do boxing, you get concussions. And Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, it has its own set, you know, of problems. You mat burn on your toes, broken fingers, uh, and aches and pains. Now, uh, it's something that I love and I train it hard. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be injury prone, but I'm an all or nothing type of person. So when I train, I train hard and my body doesn't like it all the time. Hardest part of training, um, failing, failing, and that happens very often. You often get uh, uh, smashed on the mats, and sometimes you wonder, you know, is this is this something you want to keep doing? But uh, it teaches you to deal with that, to do de to deal with the failure and being able to get right back up and get and get on the get on the wagon and let's go you know we keep going forward um, and then from there you grow you realize that there's a way out of that position and before you know it you're playing that and, and you grow from there so that's really been the hardest part um, being able to adapt to a lot of people's different game and and uh, the injuries that's been the hardest part too probably that humility again um, you, you you come in and um, Basically, all my professional career, uh, my time in school, um, you know, you come in and, and, and I've had a pretty successful life, in my opinion. Um, things have, have kind of gone my way. And then coming here and training, um, just in general, BJJ, again, nothing is given to you. You've got to earn every bit of it. Um, you, you, can, you can be guaranteed that every belt and every stripe comes with its share of blood, sweat, and tears.